What's up, guys? Young Bucks, Old Goats. I'm here with Hylia Comic Bro. What's up? What's road. up? We got our Super Bowl rings. So we're getting ready to watch the Super Bowl in a little bit, and we want to do a little uh, bootleg. Um, well, it's not bootleg liquor. It's a boot, bootleg tasting because we're both amateurs, and we don't really know what we're doing. But we want to taste some bourbons that you can find on the shelf at any store for around 30 bucks. so entry level. If you've been thinking of uh, trying out some bourbon or um, – or you already have, maybe you want to see what we're, we're going to be tasting today. Um, I don't even really have the right glassware and everything, but we're just we're just going to try it. We're going to wing it. Yeah. We're going to get ripped before this game because Brady's probably going to win, and it's going to be easier to accept to it. To accept it, yeah. Hopefully not. It, it go, it's going to go down a little easier. All right. So first up, we're going to try Woodford Reserve. We actually both have had this already, but let's see. And for this tasting, it's what five ounces each. Five ounces each bottle, so it'll be twenty-five ounces by the end. We sh everybody should be fine. <laughs> no, no. How much is it? Up? Now I'm going to try an ounce. Each, an ounce Something each. like that should be okay, right? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be. Fine. That's probably too much. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest wine. I mean, not wine. Uh, whiskey. What is it? Scotch. What's up, dog? Bourbon connoisseur. Yeah, this is bourbon. Good. We probably went too much with that, but you okay, know, well, I'll, I'll try to do less next time. Okay. Because this, the game starts in about twenty-four minutes. We're gonna be ripped. This will carry us over through the game. Hopefully. Yeah, that's it. We'll you be know? drinking water after this. Exactly. Okay, so I think you're supposed to like smell this first. What do you smell? I don't know. I smell, smell Chiefs victory. Is what I'm. Smelling. I smell Chiefs victory. It kind of smells like glue. It's a little <sighs> glue. I smell like. Ethanol. Yeah, I, I I smell this. My parents used to put uh, lampshades together when I was a kid. It's kind of smells very like, strong, right? Smells like, but you know this thing is not strong. When you drink it, it's not strong. Let's. All right, let's I'm go gonna ahead. take a little a little. It's, cl it's clearing my my sinuses. That's for sure. I don't want to say it tastes like honey, but the consistency of it is. Is kind of thick, so it's kind of like a goes down smooth though. And smell it now. Oh, you drank the I, whole I, thing? I, I Jesus, I, I wasn't supposed to. Come on, what are we in college here, <laughs> dude? This is for sophisticated. This is, oh. You're supposed to take a little thing and then you know. There was this wine movie. I forget, man. It was with uh, Giamatti. Did you ever watch that movie? Sideways, I think it's called. Sideways. Excellent film. Yeah. And his friend. All right, let's put the used ones. We're not going to use this. His again. friend. Remember, that goes to the tasting. It just, I guess, I'm, I'm the friend, and you're Giamatti. Yeah, the friend is a Sandman, right? Yes. He plays Sandman. Let's yeah. have a drink. We're supposed to drink something, um, in between, to wash it down. You know what? I didn't even read about that, so so people know. Um, Wood for Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon. It's a forty-five point two alcohol by volume, so it's ninety proof. Um, this is one of the better bourbons you can have right off the shelf. That's good. You've had, you, 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 uh, you let me know about that one earlier. Yeah. That's really good. This is good. All it's right. Like next, Texas. we're going to try, this is my go-to favorite right now, uh, Buffalo Trace. Again, these are all bourbons. Buffalo Trace, like Woodford is 45%. Buffalo Trace Distillery, other products are hot. You know, sometimes this is hard to find. So, you know, I know these are all affordable ones. This is like that's good. Under 30 bucks you can find these. Usually. Sometimes they jack it up at some places. Um, I but, think I've had these first two. The next three I, I have not. Okay. I want to put. I'll do what we're going to smell in this one. Broken kneecap for Brady, maybe. Interception for Brady. Pick six. We'll Big see. Six. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, like, I'm trying to get my points at ABC Liquor so I can get, like, the next levels up from this, which is, like, Eagle Rare, Weller, uh, Pappy Van Winkle, uh, and some of those other things that they jack up the price. Blanton, that my boy Danny brought oh. me one day. Blanton is another one. There you go. Okay, so smell. cheers. Cheers. Yeah, let's smell it first. 
Not, not it kind of smells sweet. Yeah, not as strong as the other one, right? I, I think I put way too little. No, not as the other one smelled really, really strong. It smelled like glue. Yeah. It this smells what sweet, smell? sweet. Like, like. Oh, this, this, this smells smooth. This smells. Uh, it probably smells like a taste, which is smooth. This smells like a Tyreek Hill touchdown. Uh, maybe like a couple first quarter touchdowns for Tyreek Hill. Yeah. And then he throws up the peace sign. So take a little, oh. take a little. Ooh, that's smooth. Here's the, I know when stuff's good. I don't know exactly like, you know, right. Oh, there's a hint of oak and yeah. uh, I don't really fucking know, dude. I wish I did, man. No, we're not, I'm, I'm not that refined. Do you, do you, can you identify anything in there? No. Whiskey. It's definitely whiskey. Take my fucking word for it. If, like you this. if you haven't had Buffalo Trace, and I normally don't drink it like this. I always am on the rocks kind of guy. But this is how you get the pure thing. You got to lift your pinky? Yeah, your tr uh, Super Bowl trophy your pinky tro ring. Trophy ring? Yeah. All right, I'm going to kill this. That's good. Not as thick as the Woodford Reserve. No, not not by a, not not as thick. The that's Woodford right. Reserve almost felt like a honey. You had a yeah. honey, not so much because of taste, more because of consistency. Okay, the next one is an all-time classic. I think um, we got Maker's Mark over here. Maker's Mark is. Melted. Distinguished by the wax that they, they dip the bottles in. I wonder how they dip it before they – oh, they probably have a little seal. There's a seal, and then they dip it on top. Uh, sometimes you'll find these at the store that have wax all the way, like, down to here, and those are actually sought after by collectors. Really? It's called the slam dunk. So they purposely, like, one out of I don't know how many bottles, they instead really of just doing it, they really dunk it, and collectors go and they look for those in the store. Oh, dude, that is cool. Yeah, and it's kind of like when they find it, they're like, "Should I open it or not?" You know, people like to keep them because it's kind of something different. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Yeah, when you go to a liquor store, let me know, dude. I'll see. Hey, do you have this? Do you have that? You, you mentioned ABC Liquors, right? Yes. Over Total Wines. I don't know enough about Total Wines, but what I, what I do know about ABC Liquor, I'll tell you right now. If you want to get some like rare, allocated stuff that they don't just throw out on the shelf. Sign up for their membership every time you go. So consolidate all your purchases into them. You know, I always go to like little mom and pop here, there, the other, trying to find stuff I don't. I decided to consolidate it all. You go to Christmas, you're going to spend, you know, you people give out bottles. You buy some for your party, a birthday, a regular. Just consolidate all your purchases to ABC, 500 bucks. That's a lot of money. Depends how much you're into the hobby or whatever. But either way, you could get the like bronze level status with, I think, like, couple hundred bucks. I'm almost there. It's 500 bucks for the year. And then you have it for the whole year and they'll call you two to four times a year and say, Hey, we have these bottles and you have to respond. It's an email and dude, they're bottles that they sell on the secondary market for 500, 600, hundred, 200, and you buy them at retail. Wow. Yeah. And it's a beautiful store. You've been in. Yeah. Yeah. It's a I, beautiful store. I actually just went to one. I don't, I have the total wine closer to my house. I went to an ABC's like a week ago, it's a it's a little smaller than the total wine, I would say. Um, do you have a membership at uh, Total Wine? No, no, no. Ask next time. Maybe they do have. Some they do have a. They have. They do have a membership because I've been asked. I just never looked into it. Do it because you you get something. They always they'll send you coupons. They'll send you maybe invitations to tastings or to buy stuff. It's kind of cool. Okay, no cork on this. Sorry, go ahead. No, no. What I noticed about the ABC, it's a little smaller, but it's a little bit more open. Um, total Wine seems like it's. Dude, go to my longer. ABC it's whenever packed. you get a chance. It's over here on... Uh, it's packed, too? No, it's massive, dude. Really? The store is huge. Yeah, the ABC by my house is not I think big. this place is like 5,000 square feet. Wow. Yeah, it's big. It's the biggest liquor store I've ever been to. That's mine? I don't know. Okay, we're two in, and he doesn't know. Who cares, right? Okay, so is this that is... enough? See, I've had the, the first two I've had. Okay. These last three I have not. Okay, so maybe we'll get we'll get more reaction out of you. Why? I really like something that you've already tried. You probably, for me, it's harder to. I gotta say, I really like the buffalo. I, I actually I like the first one, but doing this, 
I, I'm going right now. I'm going Buffalo. Yeah, me too. No, that's this is my, my this is my top. I love it. I, I, it's really good, and I, I do like the what is Woodbridge, right? Woodford, Woodford, Woodford Reserve. This I have to have in stock always. Like if I don't have it in stock, I'm gonna be freaking out. I gotta tell you, my son. Did we do water? We gotta do yes. water. Yeah, I did. my son pretty much. Me, me and him killed the bottle on Christmas. Was it Christmas? New Year? Christmas. Yeah, I mean, dude. Usually, wherever I take a bottle of that, it, it doesn't it flies. nothing yeah, ends up. Okay, so it. this is the. We're doing Maker's Mark, which is the basic Maker's Mark. Let me read a little bit about it here before we. So Maker's Mark, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, uh, distilled, aged, and bottled by the Maker's Mark Distillery, Star Hill Farm, Loretto, Kentucky. I can't wait to do the fucking Bourbon Road Trail one day where you go visit the distilleries and you try stuff. Sometimes you get to buy some special stuff. Anytime you're in the neighborhood, stop by and visit us as an art distillery near Loretto, Kentucky. This beautifully restored home of Maker's Mark is a designated Kentucky National Historic Landmark. Fully matured alcohol, 45% by volume, 90 proof, which is the same as all the other ones we've tried so far. Okay, and then there's a government warning back there that we're going to ignore. Um, yeah, I can't wait to do that one day because bourbon, it can only be done in Kentucky and it has there's something with the barrels that can't be reused. It has to be just an original barrel. Sometimes they'll take these barrels, ship them off to Scotland or, or Europe, and then they use the same barrels to age their wow. whiskey and give them a little flavor, nice. the casks or, or, or barrels. Nice. All right, we're ready to try this? Yes. It's getting a little okay. hot in here. Is it? It's probably the whiskey. <laughs> what do you smell? What do you smell? It smells like in be as far as strength, in between the in first between, two. Yeah, in yeah. Between. Pretty strong though it smells. It smells the the first one the the Woodford smelled the most. Yeah. This one then the Trace. It smells good. I smell a little Travis Kelsey A for <laughs> A for one oh nine and a touchdown. Eight for one oh nine and a and a touchdown. You know what, dude? I'm I'm smelling. I'm smelling like a, a late cheap hit on Brady here on this one. Like Brady's gonna get barely touched and it's a 15 yard penalty. Wow, you're a lot more specific than I am. Well, yeah, no, I, mean, I don't know. I, I, pretty... I've been doing this longer than you. Yeah, that, that's that's true. All right, are right, you ready? Let's take a, a little, Sit. a little, yeah. L thicker than the than the buffalo. Mm-hmm. Not as but not as thick as the other one. Kind of like a, kind of along the, the same lines as the smell. Yeah. The scent. Per se. I gotta tell you right now, it, it's Buffalo Trace, Woodford, and then this one for me. Me too. I'm not really digging this one that much right now. What is it about it? I'm glad you did less than an ounce. Yeah, yeah, we, I gotta, we got, we got a long way to go here tonight. Yeah. We're gonna be back. Hopefully, if we're still standing for yeah. a Super Bowl reaction show um, after the game, which should be like 10, 10 p.m. Yeah, and I just want to say real quick, yes, I am a Raider fan, but going for the Chiefs, baby. AFC represent. That's why I'm wearing the red. That's why the sponsor is Man of Action Figures. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put and, bucks on and gold. Look at that shirt. That's a nice shirt. Um, we're going to put, uh, all Tom Brady merchandise, uh, for sale tomorrow, win or lose. Sounds good. Or we're going to burn it all live on the air. I don't know. One of the two. That there's a lot good. of it though. Yeah. There's a lot. Brady. Did you kill it already? Yeah. Brady's popular. Dude, I smelled something kind of woody here. I can't tell, man. I just drank. I just wanted to say something. I have yeah, no idea. So, so, what did you, what'd you mention earlier? Oak? Yeah. You're an oak. Why, why, you're an oak. I love that movie, dude. Tombstone. Imagine the whiskey they drank, bro. Must have been like fire, bro. Like, they would have killed for any of these things here. Oh, my goodness. Get out of town. I got to tell you, I don't know about... <sighs> I'm not I'm not feeling that. No, dude. And we had it on our Halloween episode a couple years ago or a year and a half ago, whenever that was, and, and we all got ripped and we all really liked it. I guess on the rocks, you know, the, the ice does change the. Yeah, it, does break it, down. it brings out some other flavors and it breaks it down. But still, Buffalo Trace is my favorite and it's been my favorite so far. So I guess some things do ice or no ice. It was really smooth. Give me your. Which one is your used? So we can, oh, it's right here. All right. 
All right, a little water to cleanse the palate. I did. I did. I'll have a little bit more. Ooh, getting close to bang time. You know, one thing I want to do too, like if you're a bourbon or whiskey, you these know, are, these are all what? All bourbons. All bourbons. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to, you know, try some of those weird, rare things, you could go to some bars, you know, like some higher end bars, mm -hmm. you know. I know we're in the pandemic and all that, but, you know, a, bar, a lot of bars are open. And you could go and you could, you know, let me get a, a sh shot of mm -hmm. whatever. Tasting. Yeah. And you're like, do I want to buy this bottle? Because some of the stuff I buy, like, remember back in the DVD days? Did you ever do the risky thing of buying a DVD without ever watching the movie? I used to do that with CDs, not with, the, not with DVDs. Oh, nice, cool car. Something yeah. good, something new. Right sometimes you feel a little risky and you want to do it. Yeah. But sometimes some of these bottles, not these, but some of the other bottles as you progress could get expensive. And you're of like, course. I don't want to buy this bottle without testing it. How much would a shot cost? Of a... <sighs> Okay, so I've never done that. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, these at a bar, at a regular bar, not you know anything crazy. Maybe like seven, eight bucks, something okay. like that. And then for maybe a shot. Yes, or a, you know on the rock shot, okay. ounce and a half, four, I guess. And then if you're getting into like a hundred dollar bottle or something like that, maybe fifteen, twenty. But you know, I would try it, dude. You know, if I'm if I'm thinking of buying a hundred dollar bottle, even though I bought one the other day, a Glen Morangi eighteen. But I already tried the other Glen so it has to be better than the Glen basic. Glen is good. You've had it? Yeah, I think I have a bottle at home. Oh, my God. It's my go-to, dude. There's an orange one, right? Yes. It's freaking delicious. I love it, dude. That's my favorite whiskey right now. I've had that. That and the McAllen. Oh, McAllen. You had that, too? I think I have a bottle of that. There were gifts. Look at you. Yeah. You have – that's two very – that's my two favorite whiskeys yeah, right there. Yeah, I think – I think – I know – I believe I got them at home, or they're they're still there. All right, let's move on. Uh, you have some good shit there, dude. So this is uh, small batch, seventeen ninety two. This one. Seventeen ninety two small batch bourbon is made from marriage of a few select barrels, carefully chosen by our master distiller. This refined bourbon elevates Kentucky distilling, extending new heights celebrated by whiskey connoisseurs worldwide. The subtleties of 1792 make it incomparably brash and bold, yet smooth and balanced. That's exactly 300 years since Columbus discovered the U.S. The Americas, right? Wasn't it 1492 Columbus sailed the ocean blue? But that would be more than 300 years. 1492 to 1792? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, from there to here. I thought you were Three, saying from there. 300, right? Yeah. Yeah, to them, not to us. Not right, to right, us. right, right. This I do enjoy also. A little tidbit of history there. Thank you. Thanks for throwing that in. I could see you as like a substitute teacher or. I, that's actually, I wanted to be a history teacher. I think you could do it, man. Yeah. Not you, anymore. That's no? what I wanted to be. Why not? No. Yeah. I like where I'm at now. I don't know if I could deal with the kids. Damn, uh, that's a nice pour there. Is it? Yeah, which one's mine? Oh, you took it easy on me. Whichever one you want, dude. Which one you want? Pour a little bit more into that. Let's get this ready. one. Yeah, let's get ready for the game. We only yeah, got, we, we gotta wrap this up. We only got two shots left. Yeah, this one and, and one more. What are you smelling? Okay, I can't wait to see what we're gonna smell in this one. Okay, what did I smell? Okay, so so far, okay, I can't remember those. But the last one was Kelsey, and yours was a broken. Egg no, egg. I was I was smelling like a penalty because okay. I didn't like it so much. I oh. smelled like a cheap late hit on Brady. I got you. <sighs> All right, so All right. which was this one? Seventeen ninety. Seventeen ninety-two. This smells nice, dude. Wow. Wow. <sighs> I smell like some honey notes here. <laughs> Maybe this is a honey badger with a pick six on Brady. Could be. What? Dude, I just, I didn't make that up. That just came to me. Could be. Do you smell honey? Or is it just me? Yeah, it does smell honey. I guess. This is a honey badger pick six. Wow, that smells really good. Isn't it delicious, dude? God, that smells really we good. We haven't even tried it. It's already it like. It smells really good. This is like the foreplay of trying. Dude, this it. smells really good compared Who's to this the... chick with the big rack on the TV. I don't know. It sm this, compared to the Woodford. The, dude, the Woodford makes you not want to drink, and it's good though it, when you drink good. it. It's good, but it makes you not want to drink. It smells like glue. To me, it smells like ethanol or gas. Yeah, exactly. This is which nice. is a disservice and blasphemy because it's a good bourbon. It's a good bourbon. 
All right, let's take a look. We're probably missing something really good right now. She looks amazing. Yeah. I don't know who she is. The she Super Bowl's about to start. She may be singing the national anthem. She might be. Might you know, be doing it like Jimi Hendrix style. It kind of almost looks like the Prince guitar. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of – it's a heavy – You're downing them, dude. Chad 90 would be proud of me. Shout out to Chad. Part-time young buck old goat. What would he be? Would he be an old goat or a young buck? He's or? a young buck. Totally young buck. How old is he? 32, 33. See, when you're in your 30s, you're, you're in that in-between. You're yeah, like – you're like He's a tweener. You're like a an old buck and a young goat. What was that old – what was that nursery rhyme? Three goats – three billy goats gruff? He's like the middle one. Remember oh. the, there was three of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was kind of – where would you put that one? I like that one. I would put that one – Ahead of this, I think, for me. I would put it ahead – I would put it second to the to the Buffalo. Wow. Yeah. So you're ju jumping this one. Yeah, I'm jumping that one. All right. I'm going to – I'm doing it ahead of this one but not ahead of these. Okay. So I, for me, I'm one, two, three, four so far. You're one, one – Two, two, three, three four. four. Yeah. And then we're up to our last one. That was really smooth. The 1792. This this is underrated. This is wild turkey. Jesus, my, my esophagus is on fire right now. Would you say that's the worst name of the three, of the five? Now, wood for reserve, it sounds kind of fancy. Very, very, very you know, fancy. Buffalo Trace is like, hell yeah, we're fucking killed buffaloes, dude. We're American as yeah. fuck, dude, you know? Yeah. Maker's Mark, you know, and they have the mark, you know, and it, they're the maker. Pretty fucking dope, you know. 1792, oh, a little bit of history, you know. Oh, shit, this is – I got to agree with you, dude. This is kind of – and I don't think it's a bad name, though. Mm -hmm. But amongst those, yeah, this is probably the uh, worst. I would put it the worst. Yeah. I, and then – But do you think it's a bad name? It's not the best name. What would you have named it if you had a whiskey? What was it? What's it? Wild Turkey? Yeah. Not this one. If you had your own whiskey. You know, celebrities – you know, Hialeah Comic Bro, mm -hmm. part-time celebrity with uh, his channel, mm -hmm. Hialeah Comic Bro, and Inside Comics, and... Behind the Comics. I'm sorry. It's okay. We've had four, four drinks already. Behind, Behind the, the comics, comics. I also do the Johnson Show. The on Johnson Monday. Show will be featuring me sometime in the near future. future. We're not sure on the date or anything Maybe like Monday. That. We're doing... Whoa, whoa. I, talk to my people, dude. I don't... Talk okay. to my people. Oh, look. I think that's the national anthem. All right. We got to get out of here. Okay, yeah. Let's drink but yeah, this. You might, it might be Monday if you're available. Whoa. We dude. are doing the football recap show on my channel on Monday, 7 o'clock Eastern. Well, you talk to my people, dude. I okay, can't, I'll you know. Talk. Don't put me on the spot on the air here. No, I see your people right over there. I'll talk to her. You talk to my agent, and, yeah. you know, we'll work things out. The fee, you know, you're my friend. We'll, you know, whatever. Yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work all that, all the details But, out. yeah, Wild Turkey's definitely. <sighs> if you had a whiskey, what Johnson would you name Johnson Prime. That, that'd be the name of your whiskey? Why not? Johnson. There's a whiskey I want to get for the show. Johnson Prime. Prideful Goat. Oh, that's perfect. I like yeah. that. All okay. Right. Last, Last one. one, and we gotta get the fuck out of here. There are the fucking bombers are flying over. Drop one on Brady. That's, that's a stealth. That looked like a stealth. That was three different kinds of bombers. That was pretty cool. Okay, we're smelling this. Oh, one. this smells. This is an underrated whiskey, dude. An oh, underrated man. bourbon. It smells good too. It smells great, right? People see that and oh, wild well, turkey. It's everywhere. It's not the best name. I'm telling you. It, uh, it maybe kinda, it's the name. That, that that name cheapens it. I feel it's available. They see it all the time. You know that's why this is so popular. But it's good. But when they don't see it and it's but hard to find. Even that bottle, just the label. It looks awesome. Looks better than that. Yeah. They did change their label now a little bit, I noticed. And that you know what? That isn't that bad. I yeah. gotta say. The and worst the worst label is this maker's mark. This is the slowest one. This is forty percent, eighty one okay. proof. The worst label is the maker's mark. It just looks cheap. Really? I think it fits with the whole thing, you know, everything. Yeah, know. Let's try this and let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Cheers. good too it's not bad it's the cheapest out of all of these it's definitely it's the cheapest bad. it's not the worst you could get a bottle of that for 20 bucks it's not the worst it's not the worst you know what it's good for i consider it like a house bourbon so like 
you're having a party, here, a big bottle of bourbon, fucking kill Yeah, it's not, you know gonna, I mean? it's not gonna put you out. Yeah, you don't want to put like an eighty dollar bottle right. for people to get ripped. You want to get ripped, and it's yeah, not bad. Go to town. Here you go, dude. Fucking kill it. That's what I, I had can... that in my bar for. Perfect. I don't think I could drink my whiskey like this though. You you put uh, ice in your whiskey normally, and uh, and uh, and some coke. I'm not the biggest. Oh my god, blasphemy! Yeah, I know, but I'm a bitch. Well, I'm surprised you slammed these down. Like, well, I get in the groove. All right, uh, people, let's watch the Super Bowl. Let's root for fucking uh, Patrick Mahomes, and we'll see you after the game. Hopefully, if I didn't kill myself during the game, and. Thank you, Hialeah. Thank you, people. We'll see you next time.